cancer, you've got suicide, you've got a, a block of you know, 16,000 people have died who were serving in the Vietnam era. And it's troubling uh, to me, as, as somebody who also serves. So I want to thank you all, you know, people who have served, you know, thank you people that love people that served, you know, thank you for serving as well and, and obviously for what you do uh, as well. It's, it's so important. So I'm here. Uh, oh, I can take a couple of questions if there are any questions from anybody. And then I'm just going to go and get a nice tour and then, uh, okay, any questions? Don't feel obligated. Great. <laughs> All right. well, then, uh, Did you come in your pickup truck? Yeah. I mean, the truck is literally uh, in the Capitol building right now in the parking area because I, I had a killer day to, uh, but I do drive it. I often park it by the White House and just say, <laughs> <laughs> what a ride! <laughs> so, uh, people actually, it's pretty funny. I, I do park in front of in, in front of the Capitol uh, in the side of it. Actually, if you're if you're looking at the Capitol, I'm in the Russell Building, and then there's a parking area right outside. And literally, people come up and, and get pictures with it every day. It's like a tourist attraction. I'm actually trying to work out a deal where the, I can raise some revenue for the federal government and direct it back to the veterans. So we can, uh, people are pretty excited about it, but thanks. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, people say, well, you know, you, did you do it just for the campaign? Because I, I have 207,000 miles, okay? Yeah, I couldn't do that in four months, so I did that for a while. I really enjoyed it. I mean, knock, knock on wood, it's running great. He's a young man. That's a young man. <laughs> 37. Jeez, I'm getting old. <laughs> right there is, uh, Jerry Santa was the former mayor. Twice former mayor, 70s and then uh, most recently. Oh. And Gardner has always been a very veterans friendly community. We have the Veterans Homestead Project up at uh, the Altruism Community College, which is the first that's kind of a nation. I think it will be a model what where do do? returning know. veterans with brain injuries oh. go up there, they get rehabilitated, and they go to the college free of tuition and fees and everything. So they're working together. There's also an internship through the college at the Homestead Program. Can you just interrupt there? Actually, can have their families staying with that, them? Yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the unique thing. Like, they're all separate, very green houses. It's all geothermal oh. and solar. And the families actually stay with them like that. Hmm. So they get the uses of the uh, college and the college has the internship. That's great. Uh, along with this facility and the one in South Carolina. So, very veteran friendly. Yeah, really. Healthcare bills do not affect the current veterans' benefits. That's correct. It's not Tricare, which is a specific benefit, or Champus. Yes, that's the, that's the read we're we're getting. We've been, we've been verified it as as early as this as late as this morning. And uh, just to make doubly sure, we're going to actually uh, file a bill just to exclude it, okay. Senator Webb and I. Um, you campaigned on uh, being the 41st vote to stop health care, and that didn't happen. And I think the Republicans will have to squeeze in the next election. It's important to have a shot at repealing. Um, what is the strategy right now? Well, uh, just to correct you, in terms of 41st vote, it wasn't to stop health care. It's, it's on the 41st vote or on the 60th vote. It really depends on the issue right now, and that's how it will be until the next election cycle. Um, but uh, with the health care bill in particular, it's yep. not good for Massachusetts. It's going to hurt medical device companies. It's going to uh, affect Medicare for seniors. It's going to raise people's taxes in a time when we need jobs. Uh, we should be talking about just that, jobs. And that, uh, when the uh, President, Harry Reid, and Nancy Pelosi are out talking, they're talking about all the good things. You know, obviously the catastrophic care provisions and the pre-existing conditions for children. We all agree with those. Those are all great things. But they're not telling you what, what's next. And what's next is job loss and longer lines and lesser care. And we so need how, to, can, how can we Well, I'm hopeful that we can, in a bipartisan manner, repeal the bad things and try to uh, replace them with, with some you know, positive changes that will uh, make it at least work for Massachusetts. I wanted to ask you to uh, the latest thing going on right now, the Rachel Maddow situation. Um, how did you hear that she would be she's thinking of running against you. Yeah, listen, I'm here to talk about veterans and veterans issues and uh, you know, this is a very important part of my job and uh, you know, I'm not going to comment any further on, on any of that stuff.